Welcome back. This is the Chama, and it's great to be in your living room this evening. We've been joined by Deputy Governor for Nairobi, Jonathan Mweke. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, Shiko. <laughs> Don't call me that in public. <laughs> <laughs> I've known you forever. Um, okay, old just so you know, <laughs> old secrets. We, we old met secrets. in 1999 around the Millennium New Year. Yes. yes? Yes. Uh, very drunk. It was New Year's. And then, yeah, and we were college <laughs> students. <laughs> sure. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. So, um, now you were talking about security. And yes. um, this lobbying group that can talk to the police. Yes, and, yes, um, yes. The county oversight police, uh, police oversight authority. Yes. How yeah. do we get onto, there's a Nairobi business owner right now. There is somebody who wants to get involved in, in this thing. How, how can we participate? Uh, it's it's appointed by the governor, so our offices are the ones. Uh, our office, the Nairobi County Government, is the one that actually appoints membership. Which is oh, where? Hello, uh, how interesting! Two, two, two. <laughs> so you can see how many, wants to how many female members do you need? <laughs> So just, I mean, just just apply and, and we see if we can get you Do I get there. a gun? Do I get but a gun? No, Female, no guns. youth. No guns. Youth. Oh. <laughs> yes. You are not youth anymore, Valentine. <laughs> 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 but I anyway, we are talking I Nairobi. I have a few more months. <laughs> I have a few more months. So, <laughs> youth. so back to this board. Yes. I can apply to be on this Absolutely. security oversight yes, you board. Can. Yes, wow. You can. How big yes, is the board going to be? Uh, I don't think we have a defined number. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll, 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 I'll have, I'll have to I'm check. Not I'm, I'm not quite sure about the guidelines. Do I get a sitting to... fee? Uh, a stipend? I think it is a voluntary. Oh, okay. Voluntary no board. problem. I'm so jazzed. Yeah. This okay. is what I'm But do. really what's important is what this board is supposed to do for security. Yes. This is the board that Nairobi County, that's why all the stakeholders are in, in the board. Right. Nairobi County uses this board to put pressure mm -hmm. on the National Police Service to ensure that we are getting the security that we need. Mm -hmm. uh, but while we realize that, you know, the National Police Service has their own mechanisms of providing security, what we are doing as the county itself proactively just to ensure that we also secure our residents is we are trying to uh, bring a bill to our county assembly that will change our city inspectorate uh, commonly known as the Kajo Askaris. Aye, those, oh, yes. Uh, hey, they've been given a harder yeah, name to pronounce. Uh -huh. Formally known. We want to change that into a Nairobi Metropolitan Police Service. Ah, I, I did like actually that. read right. about that. Yeah, I like that yeah. because you know and what? Even with this county thing, every county right. has different issues. Correct. Like a few weeks ago, as Grace was had mentioned, we were discussing uh, rape in Dandora, and then we had Giuliani on, and he talks about the fact that it's happening in slums across Nairobi. Right. I don't necessarily think that's a problem in Mandera. And I don't think yeah. it's a problem at the coast. They yes. have different issues. Yes. So, yes, we would like our own police. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. that's fantastic. But while, while we might not have the powers that the National Police Service has, we'll just be working alongside with them like we do today. And by the way, they've been uh, National Police Service has been very helpful, the Nairobi team, because we consult with them regularly. Uh, what we'll do is we have plans to put cameras around the city. Okay. And there's a control room, two control for rooms. electricity. <laughs> <laughs> No, there's two control rooms that uh, that are going to be housed at City Hall, where the office of the governor is, and at the uh, provincial police headquarters, uh, which is next to Integrity, Integrity Center in Milimani. How long will right. this take? Uh, by June, July, the cameras should be in. So we are looking at covering all of CBD. Are you talking about now? Yes, so yes, like yes, in two yes. Wow. yes, yes, yes. So like in two months. Wow. That thing we see on CSI where they're <laughs> like at, eight, at 1,800 hours, blah, 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 this street corner. Exactly. There's a camera. Oh and my what the God, studies really cool. have shown is that that reduces crime by almost 50% because people know they're being watched. Mm. And then where our metropolitan police comes in is we want to resource them. You know, give them cars to patrol around the city. And just the presence of law enforcement again reduces crime. Yeah, and you and immediately feel guilty. You right. sit on your mobile phone when you're and driving. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Or when okay. you're walking across the street and mm -hmm. then you don't have uh, the street urchins snatching handbags and side mirrors and so on and so forth because people know they're being watched. So, you know, some of these issues you just tackle them step by step. And, and, and I think as our 100 day promise, which I didn't get to speak about, but I'll quickly say what it was, mm. for Nairobi, we wanted to focus on three things. One, of course, was security, and I've told you what we're doing around that. Mm -hmm. Number two was cleanliness. You know, we want to attract investors. We want Nairobi to be clean and nice and cool. And you can't do that if it's dirty. 
That's true. Yeah, so we've taken measures to, to hire more contractors for waste management. And then we are coming up with a full integrated waste management solution. We've had a lot of vendors come to talk to us about it. Uh, really, that will solve this once and for all. Because, okay. you know, cleaning up the city is not just about collecting garbage. It's so how do you keep it clean? How do we train our people not to litter? I was about to say something. How I do we I create electricity of our garbage? Oh, I like that. I like that. Right? Bio, bio, um, yeah, biogas. Bio yeah, using our organic waste. Something you guys can do is have a PR campaign about the pride of being a Nairobian. Yes. Living here, yes. loving your city. Yeah. It, it changes the way you interact with your environment when you're proud of it. You know, if you go sit at Mothaiga Club, you don't suddenly throw a banana peel out of your window. That's, that's but true. But if you're in some parts that's of Nairobi, yeah. you feel you have permission. So if, I think if we were yeah, proud yeah. of where we are. Correct. If there was a tone. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. What do you think, Sean? Oh, I'm in absolute agreement. And if we look at dump sites like Dandora, and then we've got dump sites on this side in Kawangwari, will those dump sites be, I don't even know if the word is cleaned up, relocated? Yes, and that is part of that's turned part into of, biogas. Yeah, that's part of that integrated waste management solution. We're looking at it at end to end. Mm. So the vision, which uh, well, uh, we know is challenging, but are confident it would work because mm -hmm. you know really nothing is impossible if you put your heart and head to it, it works. Is we want to start uh, looking at uh, garbage as an income earner yeah. for actually even the people who are producing the waste. Okay. And what you do is to really have a good uh, solid waste management system, you need to do separation at waste. Okay. So you okay. separate your foods, that is the organic matter, then mm -hmm. you separate your glass, your metals, and your plastics. So right? job creation. So um, job creation. Hold on very yeah. quickly because we have to wrap up. What yeah. is your personal point of passion? Like why did you run for this office? What do you hope to achieve? Uh, systems. For me, I've always been that kind of person who wants things to work. Functioning systems. Just functioning Just get it systems mm -hmm. and, and, and future. I, I really don't live for today because today is here and I'm here. And what I am now was decided by our forefathers. What I really am working for now is generations to come. So my personal agenda is two. Mm -hmm. If there's anything I'm going to do these five years for this county government, mm -hmm. is two things. One is automation. Okay. want to automate the entire county of Nairobi. Put in automated systems, make it very easy for you and other citizens to communicate with us. Okay, automation. Pay, yeah, number pay two. all your... It's up to Russia, <laughs> number two. <laughs> pay all your bills <laughs> online and on the phone and everything. Automate the entire city. Uh -huh. Number two is the youth agenda. Oh, God. That Just when you've told me I'm no longer youth. Very close to my heart. Okay, what do it's you, very quickly, what do you want to do with the youth? Empower them. Uh, make sure that their talents are taken care of enhanced make sure that we create an enabling environment for them to be able to do business make sure we're able to nurture them from when they're in pre-primary up through school to ensure that their lives are channeled in a certain direction channeled towards success really just make the young people have something to live for because those are the people who will be living Vision 2030. We are creating it, they'll be, they'll living. be living it. And so we have to prepare them for that. And you're about to be a father. Yes. Congratulations. Yes, in two weeks. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so we're looking forward to the future for, for, for our children and yours and everybody's here in Nairobi. Thank you, Shan. <laughs> okay, that Thank was you, Jonathan Valentine. Mweke, and yeah. we will be right back with Kamal and Grace. And welcome back. That was our Deputy Governor, Jonathan Mweke, who told us about his vision for the city. Um, ladies, are you sold? Are you oh, excited? absolutely. <laughs> I love our new governments. I love our new government. Okay, not all our new governments, okay? okay. But for this, yeah, I can MPs really now. see, not just that, you know, Jonathan, because a lot of um, politicians can say, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this, and they won't. Exactly. But I really... Well, uh, also knowing Jonathan, I know it will be done. And I know he's committed to what he's doing. And as a new father, he wants a beautiful, safe Nairobi for his child. Good point. Valentine? As he pointed out, I'm no longer youth. So, <laughs> Sorry, Dad, <laughs> given yeah. that I'm now old and wise, <laughs> it's like I've been given permission to yes, speak. <laughs> take it positively. That's good. You go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you people, I can see you laughing, cracking up. Laughing at you are last each words, other. Valentine. Age aside. La last words. Um, yeah. It's exciting that, as he said, six um, six years, some areas of Nairobi have never seen tap Imagine. water, and that has been sorted out. Um, it's. I'm curious to know where that extra water is going, because, you know, you see all these um, water trucks. Mm. I wonder where they're getting their water, and is it legal, suddenly? 
you start okay. to think that and then um I, I like the plan the automation and um finding out you know if there's a leak mm -hmm. it's here not this other place that it'll be easier to police these things and i saw your eyes pop when you talked about the cameras that are going to be up CSI. in the streets I of nairobi too jazzed. <laughs> i am too jazzed by that yeah, it's <laughs> so nice. very we modern city. we can put our little shows at the camera <laughs> That's not what we're thinking, but clearly uh, Valentine has a plan oh, come to on. entertain. If, if somebody is watching, why the hell not put on a show? Um, she but should be on Big Brother Plus. Perhaps. <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> clearly we send the wrong representative. Yeah, I'm actually a very private person. I do not have Huda, any Huda, <laughs> whatever. Huda any, tendencies. I don't have any Huda tendencies. We digress. Um, Go on. I do, uh, it'll increase security and security is a huge issue, especially for women. It'll allow women to take d jobs that right now we cannot take because, you know, you think about going home, you can't get home, it's insecure and all this. Um, shops will open for longer. Um, our whole city will change. We've been saying, oh, we want Nairobi to a be this, 24 Nairobi hour to be economy, this. Yeah. yeah. Without security, it's... It's nothing. Yeah, it's exactly. So, true. so he oh. said all the right things. I loved what he had to say. Mm -hmm. He has to implement them to impress me exactly. further because exactly. to talk is cheap. I can say things like, I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to do this. I'm going to some buzzer you 10,000 shillings now. Yeah, whatever. I'm waiting. So you see, you <laughs> see exactly. So yeah, it's easy to speak, but uh, to put your words into action, your actions will always speak louder than your words. That is true. I get where you're coming from. For mm. me, I, I feel the same. Like we can, especially with politicians, they have a long list of promises, but delivery is key. But I did get a good vibe from Jonathan. Mm. So he's uh, a newbie. He has a lot to prove. He does. Yeah. He's and very he's been treated and badly before when he ran against Gumo. So okay. yeah. he has yeah. a lot to prove. Yeah, but I we'll think just so. wait and see. Hope for the best. Uh, as we realize Vision 2030. Do have a good night and see you next time.